Three minutes is all it takes to find and add cool looking stream overlays like this, like this, and like this to your OBS YouTube stream. So firstly, where did I get my overlays? Mine came from Fares here on Fiverr, I'll link him in the description. Use that affiliate link to support my channel and use code HARRY all caps to get 10% off any Fiverr purchase. If you search for overlay on Fiverr, there is about 3000 options, so I'll also leave that link in the description. Another paid option for overlays would be Own TV. They have a ton of great looking overlays. I'll put my link for that in the description as well. And they're often running a discount where you can just type a code like it says at the top to get money off. If you want a free method, use something like GIMP. So this is free Photoshop. You can download it from GIMP.org. Just click File, click New and make a 1920 by 1080 canvas. If you want to learn how to use GIMP or any other free image editing software, just use ChatGPT. Here's an example. I'm going to ask it how to draw a circle. And just like this, it is telling me how to draw a circle in GIMP. Regardless of how you've obtained your overlays, let's now add them to OBS. So here we are with my basic YouTube stream setup. Under these scenes on the left, I'm going to press the plus button and I'm going to type in something like starting and I'll just press OK and under these sources, I'll press the plus button. And if your overlay is moving, it's a media source and don't forget to loop it. If it's not moving like mine is, it's an image source. So I'll name mine something like starting graphic. I'll press OK and all I have to do is click browse and find where it is. So here it is. I'll just click on it. I'll press OK and don't forget you can drag the corners if it is not centered properly. Let's just repeat that for ending and intermission and we'll teleport into the future. There we go. And now let's do our just chatting. So let's head to our camera one. Same process under these sources. If it's moving, it's a media source and loop it. If it's not moving, it's an image source. So I've named mine chatting graphic. Once again, I'll press browse and find where it is. Here it is. Press OK to add it. Now, typically you do want it above your camera. So mine's already above. I'm just going to drag it directly above. And I'm going to lock all of the other sources, including the graphic we just added. And now I'm just going to resize the camera. So I'm going to click on the camera and I'm basically going to drag the rectangle so that it fits inside my just chatting rectangle, something like that. Finally, if you did get a camera border under these sources in your gameplay one, click the plus button, add the image or add the looped media source. After subscribing, watch this video next to add a great looking banner and profile picture to your YouTube page.